Hey, future Mark, it's me, Mark, Marco Desio, from two years ago. I'm reading from a script here because uh, it's kind of long. Uh, but this is a letter to you from me, from us. Today's our birthday, yay, 28. And you're 30, according to the scheduled upload. We'll see if it works. So how does it feel to be on the third decade of your life? Oh, how about me? Well, today... Aside from the fact that there's this coronavirus quarantine thing going on, so basically none of a lot of the restaurants are not open or they don't they only allow to go um, that added to sort of the loneliness but uh, I guess I feel a bit disappointed in myself I had set these huge goals back in college that I would become a doctor yep I took biochemistry and struggled with it. Uh, nevertheless, I did finish my degree in biochemistry. And at the same time, I was also taking theater courses. And through stubbornness and determination, I also finished uh, my degree in theater in a total of five years. So, there I was after graduation, absolutely sure on my next step which was to become a doctor and that was very unlike my other friends who were not sure what they were gonna do and the next step was an application to medical school but I knew that my grades were absolutely horrible so I take the MCAT four times it's a lot of money uh, each time I tried to get an extremely high score so that can, they can overlook the failed and really low uh, scores that affected my GPA. And uh, every time you try to study for the MCAT, you also were very distracted. Couldn't focus. So you can get that high score that you were wanting. So you applied anyways. You were like, eh, let's do it and he ended up getting rejected by most schools which is makes sense because your gpa was ugh, and your mcat scores was like eh, more like ugh. um and uh, you applied for uh sub caribbean schools as well uh, they didn't completely reject you but they asked for secondaries and they were asking for a lot of money just for secondaries it was like a few hundred dollars and you know it's a lot of money to write papers these essays that are absolute BS on why you would love being there in their school even though that wasn't your top choice in the very least and even if you do get it you have to go to some random schools all over the US or even outside the, the US for some interviews so you gotta play, pay for flights and hotels and all of that which is a lot of expenses a lot of possible expenses for a lot of uncertainty and also once you get there a few hundred thousand dollars uh, most likely in debt for uh, the medical school education a lot of money that you don't have and so at that point you realize we realize that Maybe that's not what you really want to do. That perhaps you might regret this decision. And that 
there is a reason why you couldn't focus on studying. Because you knew. It sounds arrogant, but you knew that you could handle all those biochem courses that you took in UCR. And you basically barely passed so that you could get the degree. And you understood most of the concepts. It's just that the details and also the method of studying wasn't as effective because there was something that was holding you back. Something that, that preoccupied your mind. And so it's not just about this fact that that knowing in your mind and heart that you can do it but more of like do you want to do it and so then you realize there's something else that I really want to do and so you ask yourself why is it that you had problems focusing on studying for your biochem exams why was it that you got A's in your theater courses why was it that you kept going to your improv club you made so much time for theater and even though it was difficult and there was a lot of time spent on memorizing and being out late all the way until like 11 p.m. and being there on Saturdays and sometimes Sundays for, for rehearsals despite taking science courses at the same time you didn't find it annoying in fact you enjoyed this busyness and so you realize that is what you love you love acting and a few years later you then realize it's not just acting you like the world of entertainment you want to entertain people and so you abandoned this dream of becoming a doctor and pursued the impractical impossible illogical risky job of entertainment through YouTube and many told you it's crazy and yet you still silenced everyone's voices including the fear inside of you and you jumped right in so we started the Makodesio YouTube channel during the very first visit to Japan when we went to Tokyo University uh, that was in 2014 it was just a place to put the daily vlogs for that one month trip and didn't touch this channel again until April of 2018 I started the vlog series that was basically the beginning when I thought like yeah I think I want to do YouTube and that was more of a test of consistency uh, which uh, I failed. <laughs> that that wasn't that wasn't super consistent. It, it it got released almost every week on a certain day. I believe it was mm, Monday. Yeah, um, but I ended it and I stopped the vlog series. And that it's a pretty bad series. Don't even try to watch it. And then on April first of twenty nineteen, weird. It was April Fools started the eat log series and with that I swore we swore that we'll grow this channel to 10,000 subs by the following year guess what almost a year later of eat logs it's like just a, a, like a week or so left till April 1st 2020 it'll be like almost a year later and now we are at a whopping 134 subscribers <laughs> Um, can't even get monetized yet and so it's a little bit disappointing today you know having goals that aren't met switching 
careers to something really terrifying and knowing what I need to do to get there but at the same time feeling like it's not enough, it's never enough and the results just don't look, it looks bleak yeah thinking on the fact that if I didn't double major in theater and if I focused on biochem and I went to medical school I would be close to finishing medical school right now at 28 or I would have graduated already and yet there's this at the same time despite this disappointment there is a bigger feeling I feel I feel accomplishment as well it's weird. I think I'm just such a positive thinker. Because you... If you think about it, just on this channel alone, you have now made and uploaded a little over a hundred videos on this channel, like 110 or something like that. And currently 55 episodes of Eadlock. 55 episodes. Um... Now, at a certain point, you were editing three videos, editing and uploading three videos a week. Uh, so, and, and not only that, you've traveled to Myanmar, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, Japan, Sri Lanka, Canada, Palau, this is, and Brunei. This is just for eat logs. Okay, you've traveled to other countries as well. How many people can say that they've traveled to all those countries? It's amazing. So right now, it's kind of disappointing, it kind of sucks to think about being 28, and especially my friends in the Philippines who were basically ahead of me, um, because they didn't have the middle school. Um, they're all like married, have kids, or doctors, they got their businesses set up, all these things happening in their lives. And then my friends here from university, they're all doing their thing. Some are doctors now and matched and all that stuff. And uh, some of my acting friends are all in New York or L.A. doing work, grinding every day, doing the hustle. So right now, being 20, 28, feeling kind of late. Bars. Feeling unaccomplished, but thinking what... I've also accomplished what we've accomplished. I feel kind of happy and motivated. I just pray and hope that you're doing much better than I am right now. Um, hopefully financially, emotionally, mentally, relationship-wise. Hopefully, I'm guessing you wouldn't be living in the US, I'm not sure. Uh, if you're not, hopefully you get to visit, or get visited a lot by the fam bam. Um, so if you, in case you are feeling down, however, remember that there's always something good, something positive in your life right now. It, it maybe you're married, or get about to get married. Uh, maybe you have a kid. Um, uh, but in regards to YouTube, I hope we have at least 100,000 subscribers. If you don't, be making at least $100,000 a year with less subs maybe. Um, definitely continue YouTube. Now, if you are not doing either, I will invent a time machine to go over there and smack you and tell you to work harder. Anyways, this has been, wow, very long, uh, 14 minutes. I don't even want to edit this. I'm just going to upload it straight. Uh, this has been long and winding, just like the road we chose to travel, right? But the view is kind of scenic, I think. But keep working hard and keep believing, and we'll get to where we need to be. We know it. We know what to do. Besides, you're 30. You're still young. Come on. Come on. Sincerely. Young Maku.
All right. Chane, gambare. <laughs>